Hello my book host, did you miss me? On today's sewing room adventure, we're going to talk about my trip to the LA Fashion District, where I got a bunch of stuff that's gonna become projects, hopefully, and also a little bit of Scrap Monster being at mood. Okay, a few things off the top. I have been gone for a second because I was with my husband on a work trip, trip in Southern California. Honestly, I will probably just do a whole video on my first con since the pandemic started and how like chaotic it is and also I don't trust Repop now. Anyway, I have been doing non-stop sewing right before we went to Star Wars Celebration because pretty much I had my finals week the week that we were on the road to Celebration. So I literally took my fashion history test on the road. I just want to have a point of order that I was doing a lot of sewing before I left for Celebration, like a lot, like a ton. Like I sewed like six garments or pieces before we left. And I just want to say, like, you can see my yardage use here. I, I ran out of counting at like 48 yards of fabric that I used. So I'm just saying between the rapid end of my semester and sewing for a con and a vacation, I was like up there with like 50 yards of fabric. So like I needed to restock, right? Cause it's like a fridge, like you don't let it go empty, right? I feel like I'm finally like caught up with the work stuff that I was kind of missing because I was like ill and taking care of ill pets. And then also kind of on vacation E adjacent things. And now I am back to actually unpacking all my stuff, which includes my fabric district haul. I'm gonna take a second though before I go into my fabric district haul and thank Natalie aka and so it is on YouTube also known as Leah Aurora on Instagram. Yes those are the right screen names I didn't transpose those I hope not. I'll put the links in my description. Anyway major kudos to Natalie because she I saw her at Celebration for like two seconds and she was like I gotta go to the fabric district and I was like I need to go to the fabric district and then we're just like cool you want to show me around the fabric district? Hey! And so then we went to the fabric district and it was great and wonderful and she was a fantastic tour guide and I will try to give you some info that she also gave me but also like honestly it's just like a wonderful experience and great and it's also super fun to go with somebody who actually knows what they're doing and has experience in the area. So all that being said this is a great example of like costume people like giving back to other people and also like helping like almost mentor people like honestly as simple as like showing people around like your local like garment fabric craft places is just like a super cool thing to do and it's such an easy way just to be like hey here's where all the stuff is here's a place that has like the cheap good stuff or the good expensive stuff or all that stuff and yeah it's just really nice i'm sorry i have gotten really used to toxic things in communities so it's just like beacon of hope we are going to go on a fashion district, fabric district journey, and uh, I hope you're ready because it's gonna be fun. My actual first trip was unrelated to the full day fabric district thing. It was a trip to the Fashion Institute of Design. It was a trip to the Fashion Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. You know what I said it once? It's fine. It's not like I lived in LA for a bit and like went there all the time. Like what is, what is wrong with words in my mouth today? I forgot my coffee downstairs. But I'll, I'm gonna look at that. Okay, I have coffee. Also, I just realized I didn't explain that I'm wearing my corset. This is my newly revamped dark garden corset, which I will make a video about, I swear to God. This is a corset that uh, I just got newly refitted for me. And um, TLDR is that uh, I hurt my back a little bit and uh, wearing a corset just like relieves that back muscle spasm that keeps happening. Um, so yeah, corsets forever. So I went to the Fashion Institute of Design Merchandising. Hey! I went to their uh, exhibit, their museum, and I also went to their scholarship store. So I'm going to show you what I got at the scholarship store. But first, um, here is just like a little peek at the stuff that I saw at the Fashion Institute. Uh, exhibit because it was all about um, movie costumes and like that's the thing that I went to like I would make a road trip if I wasn't in LA or SoCal I would make a road trip to go see this um, every year and so it's been really nice we were in the area for this year's and uh, it's just a great place to geek out like honestly like I, I would spend hours there I remember like the Outlander one there and I just was just like look at all of the 
threads. You can see the threads, individual threads in person. It's amazing. So that is not currently on exhibit. I caught it just at the end of it. Um, but do keep a lookout on their calendar because they always have stuff. And sometimes they even have um, virtual events where they talk to costume designers. Like they had a Bridgerton costume designer. They have had like the Spencer costume designer. They've had a ton of folks they do these like virtual events for too. So if you can't go, just check them out, sign up for their stuff. They're gonna like obviously be in like your emails being like, become a student um but like it's just really cool like there's a lot of great stuff that like you can just if you're a fashion geek historical fashion geek costume nerd you're gonna love the stuff that comes from them so there is a scholarship store right around the corner from the museum like it's in the same complex as the museum is i used to go there all the time when i was going to school in los angeles fight on they have really cool stuff and i don't know exactly how everything I, like it seems like stuff is like maybe donated to them and sometimes stuff is like the offshoots of like the student uh like fashion shows maybe and like stuff that's like left over from that and from classes potentially but anyway they have like it's very small but they have a ton of clothes that um are actually very fancy and like cool for really cheap and then also just like basic sewing notions and all that stuff for uh, really cheap too and then the last Friday of every month they have a massive um discount you get <clears throat> major discounts on everything in store so i'll show you a couple of things that i got this time um when i was going to grad school in la i'd go there all the time just to get really cool stuff like i got a bunch of like bb um like skirts and like really cool tops and stuff that i could just wear to work or even like a couple of like nice dresses for like kind of like parties as if i went to parties the glamorous life I dreamed of and really didn't have because I was a nerd. This is from Princess Polly. I don't know who that is. But there were a ton of these cute little bodice tops. You can see it's just like one of the little fake stays tops that's very popular right now. With a bunch of like a gathering and such. Um, I don't remember how much it was because I've actually worn it. But yeah, honestly, it's cool. A lot of the times too, the stuff will have like flaws or be unfinished. So just FYI, if you go there, it's not like it's gonna be like right off the rack. Like there's a reason it's discounted. Um, I also got this from I believe also Princess Polly. Yeah. Um, so I specifically got this because I needed a belt from my robe a la Padme, aka my chemise a la Reine. That was actually the Padme lake dress fabric. So I will give you a photo of that, but a uh, full video of that will be coming at some point in the future, hopefully. This is a unique vintage dress that I found there. They had a whole rack of unique vintage things. Um, it's cute. It has like a little sheer overlay, a little Peter Pan collar, um, and it's red and it's nice. I don't know. I thought it was cute. It needs a button in the back and it needs a couple of threads snipped. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. And also, like, it was hella on, on sales. And this is my actual bag of notions, which is very loud. I got a handful of these metal headbands, which are just, like, really nifty and cool. And I want to make some, like, headband-ish things. A button bag, just, like, a whole random bag of buttons that says $3.50 on here. But I guess it was, like, two-something or whatever with the discounts. And there's just, like, a ton of buttons and grommets and stuff in here that, um, are just, like, cool. Like, there's some pearly ones and there's some more metal ones, so... And then I think there's literally like 40 of these little zippers in here, which were in a grab bag to begin with, and then they separated out and counted them. But uh, this is for like a cool, like kind of artsy looking thing that I've been sketching for a second and haven't done yet. So I'm hopeful that now that I have a bunch of zippers for it, I can like do it. This is from Nathan Fabric Inc. 410 East 9th Street, Los Angeles. This is like, I want to say eight yards, six yards of this um, beautiful white, um, like, I guess it's a crepe de chine. But this is for uh, my Breha, my Obi-Wan episode one uh, Breha. So uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Okay, and then this is like a cotton. And I think this was also like five, six yards of this um, for just like making shirts for my husband or under things or just anything nice and good and cool and then uh this is honestly like probably about 30 yards of this fabric um and this was something that my husband bought because he was at the store too and he was just like the guy kept being like we've got a sale come on you love this fabric my husband's like fuck i really do love this fabric so he bought out like the whole bolt so yeah there's like 30 yards of this like 
cotton linen look black fabric. Um, I think he wants to make a ribbon out of it, plus other things, so. Okay, this I think I paid like a dollar a yard, so it was literally five dollars. And um, it's like this stretch, kind of heavier gray. But the point is, is that this is definitely one of the things that I got for my like cool Dracula sweatsuit thing that didn't get into the Her Universe show, but I definitely still want to make. So I got this kind of structured stretch thing that I need to pre-wash. But uh, this is part of basically me working on my Rejected Her Universe uh, Dracula clothes from Shivali Fabric Inc., uh, which was great. There were so many cool things. There are so many amazing prints and they do custom stuff. So check them out because they do just like the coolest stuff. I got this mesh, this heavier kind of mesh uh, to go with this uh, gray. They're, I feel like they're close enough, whatever. Um, but the mesh is gonna go with this gray to make some of my Dracula stuff. This is the trims bag. So this is an extra special thing. This is trim 2000 plus at 8209 South Maple. So we've got synthetic dye. This was like a combo of me and my husband. So, you know, we've got a bunch of clips. I have like big buttons that I found that were really cool. Some Star Wars-y looking buckles, some little frogs. More dye. Uh, my husband got a bunch of these military looking buttons because Regency and such. More like naval things because persuasion. Uh, oh, I got these little like leaf like buttons. I don't know how I'm gonna use them more, but they're so cute. They're so darling. I got just like a buttload of black bias tape because I realized that was the thing that I used the most in a bunch of my sewing stuff and the finishings at the end of the semester. And uh, I really don't like having to make it myself. I don't know about you. Ace sewing machine on 214 East 8th Street. I got a whole roll of the pattern paper because I used a ton of it at the end of my semester. So I have a whole new roll. I got uh, a new pair of fabric scissors. These are Ginger, which I know a bunch of y'all stand for. So I got a pair of those, a bias tape maker. A slightly wider bias tape maker because I realized this again, making my own bias tape would just be easier if I had these. And finally a, a seam roll little thing. So I was specifically looking for a neoprene to make that cool armor sweat hmm, sweatshirt thing. Um, and look upon my child, look upon my work. Um, I got this from Blue Moon. This was not as cheap as some of the other stuff I got. Um, it was probably the most expensive thing I got. But I kept seeing neoprene and it just wasn't the red that I wanted. Like I wanted this kind of blood red. Natalie was like so much better at me at like describing things. She was like, it's a blue red. You need a, a red with a little bit more blue. And I'm like, yes, yes, you understand things. I haven't taken color theory in so long. Um, so this is like a buttery neoprene. Uh, look upon my work, look upon my child. Um, I definitely got more than I probably need for this project because there will be cutouts um but yeah i think it's just like a really cool texture and i can't wait to make it into like my dracula sweatshirt thing and there's gonna be like some mesh cutouts i'll use that gray mesh on it probably if i can't find matching red here but i'm thrilled i'm really excited with it it's just like such a good it's just good it's good and i, I need to like it's a little heavier than i was hoping to find but um it had the texture I wanted and had the color I wanted so blue moon fabric it's really nice uh, they have like if you're looking for very specific like stretch that's your place that's the place you want to go but they have all the stretch all the fancy and you will spend so much money and now for the piece the resistance I went to a mood fabrics Okay, Scrap Monster, we went on vacation. Are you ready to know where we went? No? Okay.
I have been betrayed. It's okay. Here she is, my mood bag. A Polly Charmousse. That is specifically for my Breha outfit. Look at it, it's so gorgeous, isn't it? Just like, look at this. Look upon my child. So this will be the lining of her cape. And there's like a little blip of it on her neckline, shoulder line, shoulder to shoulder. Um, I think this is gorgeous. I think it has such great flow. <sighs> um, I think it's actually like a little over three yards, but it was the end of the bolt and uh, there's some staining on it. So uh, I think this is gorgeous. It's going to be painting to sew it with, but um, I think it's cool. Okay, so this white fabric that was a mystery bag for a second. I actually know what it was for. This is like maybe six, five yards of like a really basic white cottony thing. I can burn test that later, but it was like at one of the like 99 like cent dollar stores that's there. I got this for lining because I need some basic lining for things. And I thought that was a really nice, just like basic kind of like a little bit eerie, breathable fabric for that. And it was like five, six bucks. Like it was nothing my experience was amazing and great and like honestly there were a ton of things i was like i want to buy this like they had bolts of like the picnic padme <sighs> the picnic padme dress fabric with like the flowers and the mesh and it even had the border like it was exactly the it just needed like a dye job to be like the right gold overall it was amazing it was fun i spent a ton of money but i also like anticipated that'd be where i spent most of my money for my trip and like the whole trunk of the rental car was just fabric and notions and stuff, which is great. I loved it. So now I am going to get to pre-washing this fabric so I can actually use it. My tips if you're going is just to like have an idea. Like I had on my phone um, a notes in my notes app, the costumes that I was looking to make that I had had a hard time finding the fabric for either when I was looking online or whatever, but they were high priority costumes or projects that I needed. And also just basic things again, like sewing hand, new scissors, cause I, accidentally cut over a pen or all those things so like have an idea of um especially if you know what costumes you're going to be making in the next like six months and you're like let me get like the buttons like the really cool buttons for everything all the closures for everything right now where it's not going to be super expensive where i have the ability to just peruse all of it at once i think that was really cool um you definitely if you don't come in focused or if you're like me where you just always have a million ideas it can be really easy to get lost in terms of like you don't know like you just want to buy it all <laughs> but um i think it was really great i think it was really fun i just want to say thank you again so much natalie for your kindness your generosity as always with all of your time all of your costuming experience um i can't say that like everyone's community can do the things that you do and like share that with other people um in such like a kind and like generous way and i just think that like we need more of that we need more people to be that and do that and like it's inspiring it's just really nice and it's inspiring and it's also heartwarming to be like there are people like i think sometimes we can get in a bubble and be like everyone on the internet and then it's just like no there are some like actually good people outside in the world maybe sometimes we just need to go outside to like remember this anyway enough rambling from me scrap monster what do you have to say
It can't be. This has to be a nightmare. Is this new fabric? Is new fabric? The whole floor is fabric. This has to be a nightmare. Why would she put it in this way? I must exact revenge. I will do horrible things. I swear it. On that note, thank you for joining me and don't forget to make it so. Major shout out to my patrons who have a special uncensored and much longer cut of this video. If you want to join, check out my coffee and Patreon links in the description. Thank you.